everyone and welcome to namehero.com. In this video tutorial, I want to talk about automated WordPress updates. So here at Name Hero, we offer high speed cloud WordPress web hosting. Um, you can see right now on your screen, these are our four main packages for your website. And of course, if you need more than 100,000 monthly visits, we can accommodate you with a VPS and you can click on that at the top menu bar, VPS hosting. But 99% um, of the customers out there looking to host WordPress can host successfully on one of these packages. Just pick the one that kind of suits um, your condition, how many sites you're needing hosted and how many visits you're needing, and then you're off to the races. Now, um, again, the purpose of this video is about automatic WordPress updates. Uh, anytime we see a problem with the WordPress website, nine chances out of 10, it's because it's, it's using an old version. WordPress is open source software for free. Now, meaning this, this means their source code is available to anyone and everyone that downloads it. You just simply go to wordpress.org, click download, and then you have access to all the files, all the source code. Now, because of this, unfortunately, there are some bad actors out there. When they get this source code, they download it to try to figure out ways they can penetrate it to use it for evil purposes. And this may be trying to have a phishing website set up so they, they can try to obtain logins um, or also they can use it to spam to send out if you look in your spam junk folder you'll see like Viagra spam and all kinds of um, just really nasty emails and so attackers they they have um, an objective always and they look specifically for holes inside of WordPress or inside of WordPress plugins so should you automatically update WordPress I say yes, especially if you're the type of person that doesn't like to log in and check your WordPress every single day. Um, you might just wanna set it to automatically upgrade so you can just kinda of set it to build your site and, and not really have to worry a lot about it. Now it is important to note that sometimes a WordPress update could break your website. Uh, and that's because if you don't, if you update the core WordPress files, but you also don't update the plugins and themes, well, your plugins and themes could be compatible with an older version of WordPress. So really, in my opinion, it's best to update everything automatically, your themes, your plugins, and your WordPress. And that way you can ensure that everything stays safe and secure. Now at Name Hero, we automatically back up your files each night. We only have one day retention though, so that means you need to kind of check your website once a day, and if you don't want to check it, you can sign up for um, like pingdom.com, which will automatically check your site and let you know if it's down, if there's any issues. And there's also some plugins called uh, Jetpack for WordPress or Manage WP that you can install in WordPress, and they will also watch your website for you and let, let you know that if something arises, the site's um, not responding correctly. Um, but still, that should, there should be no substitute for not updating WordPress. Like I said, with thousands of customers from around the world, the number one problem we see is when WordPress is not updated. And the WordPress developers, they realize this, and so they've made it extremely easy to update your website. But unless you automatically do it, you actually have to log in to your WP admin and um, run the update. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple different ways that you can go about this. So if you're a customer of ours at Name Hero, or if you're looking to be a, a customer, you can follow um, these next steps step by step to kind of looking at your installation and making sure that you're enabled for auto updates. So what I want to do is log into my account. So I'm going to hover over account and click log in. And once I do so, I'm brought to our dashboard that looks like this. And um, if you're following along, I've got a couple packages in here because this is my demo account. So I'm going to click here. And I'm going to navigate to the account that I want to check for the updates. And so the one I'm working with today is going to be our plus cloud for keydiets.com. So I'm going to click on this, and this is the uh, main page for this hosting package. And what I want to do is I can go into cPanel right here under Actions. Now, if you installed WordPress using our auto installer, which many customers do, they have a nice little option in there when you install it that, that automatically will set it to automatically update if you want it to. So to check that, you just scroll down here and you'll see the automatic installer, one click installer is right here. So you just wanna click on WordPress from right here and now you're brought to the WordPress page. So if you installed WordPress initially with this, you'll see under current installations, you'll see your website. Now again, most customers of ours that start a new WordPress site, they do use this, and that's highly recommended just because it makes everything so simple. So you can click the pencil right here, and you can scroll down, and you can see auto upgrade, and I've got it checked. If it's not checked, please check it. Auto upgrade WordPress plugins. I'm gonna keep that checked. Auto upgrade WordPress themes, keep that checked. And if it's not checked, check it. You can go down here and click on save installation details and allow self delicious fetch database details, save installation details. 
and now it is saved. So now your site will automatically update the plugins, the themes, and the core files of WordPress. Now, and this runs once a night, so if it's not, not immediately, don't worry, it will eventually um, come and update. Now, I wanna walk you through a couple different ways in case you didn't use the auto installer, um, so you can also have automatic updates. So now I'm gonna to go to my WordPress admin area. So I'm just going to keydiets.com slash WP admin. So you can see the first thing when I log in, this is after I enter my username and password, I have this note that WordPress 4.9.4 um, is available, please update now. So of course, you know, this is something that you wanna do and you can click update and you can see an updated version of WordPress is available. You can update to WordPress 4.9.4 automatically. And there's also some plugins that need to be updated. So um, let me show you how to enable it to automatically update um, if, you're doing, if you're going this route. So I'm gonna go back to my control panel and I'm gonna click log into cPanel again. And I wanna to go to file manager and inside of File Manager, I want to locate the WordPress that I'm wanting to automatically upgrade. So I'm going to go into Public HTML, and you can see this is where WordPress lives. And I want to go to my WP config file and click on Edit. Click Edit. And then inside of here, I want to add a code for to automatically update. So I'm just going to copy this code, and I'll paste it over here so you can see it. So you can paste this anywhere. I'm just going to click it here and paste it here. So define WP underscore auto underscore update underscore core true. So this command right here in your WP config will set WordPress to automatically update. So I just click save changes and I can close this out now. And if I go back to my WordPress admin, I don't think it's gonna change anything. Okay, it's not gonna change anything at this time. So that will set it to automatically update WordPress when it sees it's out of date. Now we also have to add it for our themes and plugins. So I'll go back to File Manager, and now I want to locate the functions file. So this is in WP Includes. And if I scroll on down here, I'll see the functions file. Functions.php. I'll click on Edit. Click on Edit again. And then you're gonna see a bunch of stuff and we need to add two little pieces on here and I'll copy those in here. And also if you're watching this video, I'm gonna have a blog post that um, has this as well. And so you can just put it anywhere after PHP. I'm gonna paste this in here. So this says auto update plugin, return true, auto update theme, return true, click save. And then I always like to go back to my site and just check it and make sure it didn't break anything. And it didn't, everything is good. Um, so now that's going to automatically update your plugins and your themes when it detects it. So the next time it, it checks for that stuff, it's going to check and automatically update that for you. And so again, the best way in my opinion is to use the auto installer just because it's simple, you can check it. If you're not using the auto installer, then you can add those to those files and then they will automatically update. And of course you can um, remove those if you, if you don't want to, if you wanna still manually do it, but just make sure you stay on top of it. WordPress has a nice um, little article on their um, codex here called Configuring Automatic Background Updates. And this will explain pretty much everything that I just went through in, in grave detail. So this will let you know uh, some other things that you can um, define like uh, minor updates, major updates, development updates. So you can really get specific about um, you know what you exactly you're wanting to update. And this is the plugin and themes um, filter here that's gonna tell you a little bit more about those. Um, when you edit those and, um, you know, if you want to add that and, and everything in there and, um, and all that good stuff. So I'll also link to this in my blog post so you can have this for a resource. Now you say, okay, well, that's great, Ryan. I've updated my plugins automatically and now the plugin doesn't work. And we see this because it's unfortunate, but sometimes it just happens. Plugins developers release updates. And remember, plugin developers, they have quite the task because they don't know exactly the setup you're running for your website. And we don't even know Name Hero because we allow you to customize your PHP setup in your cPanel. So you might have a different configuration than the next person. So because of that, sometimes you run into issues where the plugin just breaks the site when it updates. This recently happened to us at Name Hero on our Name Hero blog. We updated a plugin in and it broke the whole site. So we had to manually go back and revert back to the old version. Well, there's an easier way. There's a plugin here called um, WP Rollback. 
and this will actually allow you to roll those back if it breaks um, your site. So I'm going to show you how to install that. I'm just going to copy this name here, WP Rollback. I want to go back to my WP Admin and go over here to Plugins, click Add New, and then I want to search. I'm just going to paste this in here for WP Rollback, and I've got it. Install now. Installed. I want to activate it. And so now if I go over to Plugins, Installed Plugins, you're going to see that there's a rollback feature. So if I update things and it breaks it, I can always click roll back and go back to the previous version. So that's you know really, really helpful when it's done just with the click of a mouse here that I can roll back. And again, I always recommend updating your plugins, but if it breaks the site, then of course your site can't be offline. So you just roll it back. You can submit a ticket to the developer. A lot of times developers fix this automatically because they get a bunch of support requests and people saying, hey, you broke my site, and then they'll fix it in the next update. So in the case of Name Hero, this is exactly what I did. I just rolled back to the old version. I gave it three or four days. I went back, updated it, and everything was fine because the developers um, had that. So feel free to, if, if you do have to roll back something, you can click here to reach the developer. You can click here. I think here will take you to their website. We'll have instructions where you can get in touch with them. So you can let them know, hey, you know, I'm running WordPress, whatever, and it broke my site. You know, do you have a fix out or, you know, what's the, what's the deal there? Um, there's also another plugin called Automatic Plugin Updates. Um, you can use this as well if you don't want to use the method that I showed, if you'd rather just use a plugin. Um, you can just go here, go back to Plugins, um, click Add New, type it in here, Paste, Automatic Plugin Updates. We can install now, installed and activate. And now Automatic Plugin Updates is on. You can click Settings. And you can disable for certain plugins. So this is useful if you're using a custom plugin, you know, and I've had this happen before. I've had a website to where I had a developer make a custom plugin and I didn't want it to be auto updated because it was a custom type deal. So you can just click the plugins that you don't want to automatically update. Maybe you've made some customizations even, and you don't want those lost, you can disable it um, there. So and that's only the case that I would do that, is if something's custom or you know I've done something to where it's not used by everyone, because most of the time the attackers and hackers, they're looking for well-known plugins, you know, because they're, it's, again, it's free and open source, they're looking for plugins they can easily exploit. Uh, the Revolution Sliders are a huge one because it powers so many websites. You know, that's one that you want to make sure that is updated all the time because it can really cause some nasty problems. Um, but this plugin is good because it will automatically update your plugins for you, and then you can also select ones if you do not. Now, again, if you want to update manually, you can click here. You can click Update Now, and this will attempt to update it through the browser. Now, if you have problems, if for some reason this page times out, which it does from time to time, then you have to do a manual WordPress update. And you can do that by just downloading the WordPress files and following the directions in their codex on how to uh, manually update your WordPress. So you can always ask our support team if you have trouble with that, but it's actually quite easy. You just have to download the files and upload them again. Most of the time, though, we see their browser-based um, update works fine, and that's the case here. If we go back to Key Diets, we can refresh it, make sure everything is good. And nine chances out of 10, um, it is. There's normally not uh, problems because it, you know, to remember, WordPress is a great development team. That's the great thing about the open source community is there's so many developers that's getting giving input. Um, they really check things and triple check them uh, before they release it to the public because they understand you know, how big of a pain in the butt it is when your site um, is not working. So the same thing with the plugins here. Um, actually, we can go to dashboard and update. And we can manually update these by just selecting all, click Update Plugins, and it's going to go ahead and just update everything for us. And it kind of gives you the status here, updated contact form 7, now it's going to update Lightspeed Cache, now it's going to update WordFence Security. And if you have a lot of plugins, you know, this might take a little bit, uh, especially if you have a lot of updated ones. But the best thing is, is to try to keep things updated on a daily basis so you don't run into an issue where you log in and you have like 100 updates or something crazy, you know. Try to do this every day, and that's why I recommend enabling the auto updates just because so it's done for you on a daily basis. And then you can easily roll back if there's an issue with one. If you wait to do everything at once, then you don't know which one broke it. And then you have to start rolling back every single one. It's a really big pain in the butt. Um, I always, again, like to go back to my site, refresh it, 
Um, it is fine. It looks good, um, just like it should be. Um, my contact form's working, and I'm off to the races. So now I have no more update notifications in here, and I'm definitely all, all set. Um, do you want Word Fence to stay updated automatically? You can actually enable that on there and now we're all good. So keeping WordPress up to date is the single biggest thing you can do other than using a secure password. You know, don't use password as your password or you know, your name one, two, three, your site one, two, three, because that's the first, time, first thing an attacker's going to try. Um, but other than that, keeping things updated and clean inside of your dashboard, that will really keep your site safe and secure. And uh, like I said, running Name Hero for three years now, this is 99% of the problems that I see with WordPress websites. If someone comes over, they have 10 WordPress installs on their account, all of them are outdated, and then they wonder, well, why is, it my, why is my site hacked or how am I getting this problem? And people actually get really angry at us for it. Like, it's, it's, it's our fault. But, um, you know, we... We can't force you to update WordPress because we don't want to break your site, but we can encourage that you do it on a daily basis. And a good webmaster and a good web developer will, will do that. They understand that. Um, but unfortunately, some people, they just like to get mad at us, like it's our fault. Um, because if we could, we would you know, manually update your, or force everyone to update. But then again, we can't be responsible if your site gets broken. So that's why we, you know, we give you all these options. I do these video tutorials to try to really encourage that type of stuff just so your site stays safe and secure and also fast because a lot of the updates in WordPress are performance upgrades. So you not only get security patches and all that stuff and new features, you get performance benefits. So it only benefits you to keep WordPress up to date. It's, you know, us here at Name Hero, we've already secured our infrastructure. So yes, I mean, it, our infrastructure is secure, uh, but your website's a lot more secure when it's up to date. And if it's up to date every single day, uh, then you're, you can just rest assured that your site's good and, and you're off to the races. I understand that a lot of you don't want to log into WordPress every day. And so that's why I've given the examples of how you automatically update. So let us know if you have any issues. Um, again, at Name Hero, you can rest assured we have your backups. You know, it's still always smart though, especially those of you that have not updated in a while, um, you probably want to go ahead and download a full backup. Let me show you how to do that. You go to cPanel here and click on backup and click download a full website backup. You can keep it in the home directory here. You can send it to another server if you have one. Um, and enter your email address and click generate backup. And that, that way we just have, we're, sh we're sure before you go updating that you have a backup of your site that's available to you. Of course, we have the nightly ones, but this way you know before you started the upgrade, this was the current state of your website. Uh, this is, so if it needs to be restored, our techs can quickly restore it for you. You can say, hey, you know, some reason I, I didn't update my site, I updated everything, and now it's really busted, but I can't have my site offline. I did take a backup, it's in my home directory, can you kindly just restore that? And then that way you lose only the only the 10 20 minutes that it takes you to submit that ticket that's the only time uh, data you've lost so everything else is backed up from when you took the backup so that's a really important thing to do uh, you know and i see it time and time again in our ticket desk is where people will not do this they won't take their own backup and they'll start making crazy updates and changes and then like well what do i do now it broke well we have to revert to last night's backup at the best uh, worst case scenario there's no backup um, so it's always smart to to do a backup if especially if you have a lot of updates or you know if you're just like me I, I i can never have too many backups so a lot of times every monday when i get into the office i'll just generate a backup put it on my computer throw it in dropbox and forget about it just so i know i've got an extra one on my computer so i, I like the name hero backups that's good but then having them on my computer is, is another thing it's another great option just because i can see the data myself so um, again, you can never have too many backups. Keep your WordPress website updated. If you do that, you will continue to have a, a fantastic web hosting experience. Your visitors will thank you for it. It'll run faster and um, you can sleep better at night. So let us know if you have any questions. We'll be more than happy to help you out. But thanks so much for using Name Hero and making us the number one cloud WordPress web hosting provider in the world.